In this video, I'm going to cover three important topics. First, what is multivariate testing? Second, the total number of testing variation for an MVT test? Third, how do you create a successful multivariate test? So let's get started. What is multivariate testing? Multivariate testing is the process of testing multiple variations for multiple elements on a web page with the goal of determining the best combination of elements to increase conversions. Let's take a quick example. Here is the product page from the Apple Store. Using MVT testing software, you can test different variations for headlines, images, the add to cart buttons, or any other elements on the page. The testing software will select one of your headline variations, one of the product images, one of the add to cart buttons, and displays that combination to your website visitors. So, what is the total number of designs or variations for a particular MVT test? Now, the total number of testing variation for an MVT test depends on two different things. First, it depends on the number of elements that you will test on a particular page, so the number of headlines, images, buttons, etc. Second, the number of variations that you will be testing for each of these elements. The total number of variations is calculated by multiplying the number of different variations for each of the elements. The total number of page variations equals the number of variations for element 1 multiplied by the number of variations for element 2 multiplied by the number of variations for element 3, so on and so forth. So, let's take our previous example and say that we will test three different headlines against the original for a total of four variations for the headline. We will test two other product images against the original for a total of three variations for the product image. Finally, Three different buttons are tested against the original button on the page for a total of four variation for the Add to Cart button. That comes out to a total of 48 variation to that single page. The number of page variation can grow very, very fast. Some testing software allows you to test tens of thousands of variations, if not even millions, for a single page. As a visitor arrives at a page, the software will pick one of the four headlines, one of the three product images, one of the four buttons to display to the visitor. So, how do you create a successful multivariate test? You must remember that tools are useless without the people who properly run them and learn from them. Most testing software allows marketers to create and start simple tests in a few hours, but that is the easy part. Designing successful test scenarios, assessing results, and creating meaningful follow-up tests are ultimately where many, many companies fail. Poorly designed experiments can take years to complete. Even worse, they might not provide concrete insights to what elements will convert more visitors into customers. Imagine a case where you plan to test different headlines on a page. You start by coming up with 10 different possible variations to that particular headline. What criteria are you going to use to determine which of the headlines you should test? Why not test all the 10 possible headlines? You will most likely find yourself relying on guesswork to determine which of the variations to include in the test. The same logic, of course, applies to all elements that you want to test on a page. Without being judicious, with test scenarios, you ha we have seen clients attempting to test millions of possible scenarios. The process of creating good tests must go through the following six different steps. First, you need to evaluate the page looking for possible problem areas on the particular page. Second, you prioritize the problems identified on the page in terms of their impact on conversion rate. Third, you create the hypothesis on how to fix some of the problems that you've identified on the page. Fourth, you create new designs based on your hypothesis. Fifth, you let your visitors be the judge of these designs. You conduct either A-B or multivariate tests to assert the validity of your testing hypothesis. Six, you analyze the results of the testing data to determine the correctness of the test hypothesis. 
Testing is an important component of any conversion optimization project. However, it should not be the only component. Testing should take place after other equally important stages of optimization work take place, such as persona development, site analysis, design and copy creation. All of these must be completed first. Each of these elements provide a building block towards a highly optimized website that converts visitors into customers or clients.